In this video, the party continues to explore the green mist-filled haunted manor house. They encounter writing skeletons, blood-filled barrels, and a knife-wielding toy doll. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Yes, another week playing Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. The p players have arrived and have all been um, invited into the Zoom and the stream has been set off. Um, unfortunately, Longshank's EPG could not be with us tonight. So um, Chuggawugga, who plays Obadiah, will be controlling both the characters. Anyway, before we go any further, let's allow the players to introduce themselves and the characters they will be playing guys can introduce yourself and who you'll be playing tonight so off you go chugs so you can go first i'm um i'm chug Wugger, as inwills has just said which he always does um tonight i am playing my main character um obadiah who is a um a rogue a rather nasty man um he's tall thin gaunt looking um a bit sadistic to be honest with you um he likes um inflicting pain on people but he enjoys watching it more than inflicting it. Um, not not very nice at all. No. The other person that I'm playing is um, Felix Von Pounder, um, who is a minstrel, a dandy, a um, a fancy flop of a person. Uh, his mind's full of uh, lyrics and rhymes, so much so that he normally forgets what he's doing most of the time. And it is said that he has nine lives. Something which Obadiah is going to put to the test. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and I shall pass on to, because he's typing Medibag. And he's muted. And he's still muted. I'm still Not muted. Now. I'm very sorry because I'm, I'm slow at reacting. Um, hello, everybody. I'm Medivac, and I play Dominic. He is a cleric and a follower of Timora, uh, also known as Lady Luck. Um, basically, he's had amazing luck in his life. <laughs> he's many parties and been survived many adventures. Sadly, he's lost, lost his tribe. Been so lucky. Oh. <laughs> but, um, but he's trying to improve on that. You know, although he survives and gets away with all the loot and uh, is happy, he, he's, he's missing more. He wants a bit more camaraderie, com com whatever. He wants friends. Camaraderie. <laughs> Yeah, you want to see people alive at the end of a mission rather than... Um, companionship. Spears. Companionship, that's a fine word. And with that, I shall pass it on to Mr. Pickles, who is stroking a cat leg. Yeah, I was just going Mr. to say... Mr. Bond. I was just going to say, please be careful what you yeah, actually... So, yes, <laughs> I said cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my cat is being needy, but I am Mr. Pickles. I am playing for our group this evening, uh, Old Peter, who is not an old person, and nobody's quite sure where he got that nickname, mostly because he bashes and destroys as much as he can. He's a berserker, a path of the berserker barbarian, um, hopeless romantic, looking for that special someone, looking up to his teammate Felix, who plays music so beautifully. Uh, one of Old Peter's ideals is, is beauty. Um, He's a sucker for a pretty face, kind of like Obadiah, but not not like Obadiah, kind of. Um, and with that, I'm gonna just bring it to my prized item. Got a flame tongue long sword. Yeah. Um, no. Very delightful, and I believe the command word I decided on it was piggy snow. You <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's hope it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> or, or, or propane. <laughs> propane. <laughs> propane again, that's right. Pick you start propane. Excellent. <laughs> With the players having introduced their characters, it's time for that quick synopsis. What actually happened in the adventure before this point in time? Well, let's pass over to me and I will bring you up to date. So what's um, happening at the present moment in time is that the party were um, in a tavern in a town somewhere 
in the back of beyond um having enjoying um a few drinks etc etc when an old wizard came in in a bit of a fluster um because he had sent his apprentice to prove himself up to the local haunted manor um unfortunately um it was the dead of night the rain was um falling quite rapidly and lightning strikes were sort of like plummeting to the ground and he the apprentice hadn't come back and to make matters worse the apprentice rather uh, noble family was coming the next day um to see how he was getting on so the wizard um hired um, the group of four adventurers here um, for either money, adventurer, uh, um, money, weapons, enchantments, magical items, or even because they just thought they could do good. And they headed up to the mansion. By the time they got to the door, they managed to get inside, not by any physical means at all. Um, they almost like gave up and thought that the adventure was a complete dud, turned around, started to walk away and the door opened since then they have encountered crashing chandeliers um weird griffin statues that open secret doors they've been attacked by ghosts um beholders um um, Dominic went to save uh, a woman who had her wrist slashed and was bleeding only to find out that the the um, ghost turned around and nearly took a bite out of him and the party had moved upstairs they remember at the spiral staircase guys there was a, a set of stairs going down um, as well that you didn't venture down into you came straight up and so I just it just make you aware of that. And we got to the part last week when an Obadiah um, actually um, opened um, these two doors here and sort of like went into like a kitchen and there was a chest on the table as you can see from the map um felix had been very brave up to this point sort of like charging around the place with with um a real lackluster for um health etc etc and anyway they um obadiah tried to get um felix to go in and say look felix there's a chest there and um, Felix said that he doesn't normally go into rooms first and there was another door so he went off to investigate it the door down at the bottom he opened the door I was promptly attacked by a ghast and two ghouls I think it was um, um, good old old Pete charged into combat and did some heavy damage well I think um, Dominic did um, guardian spirits I did indeed uh, yeah and while Obadiah kept outside in the typical rogue fashion um guarding the corridor i can see the just so you know um if you're watching the stream the little yellow um triangles are the direction of facing um of the characters and the little green dot or orange dot or yellow dot is generally their health <laughs> which i notice <laughs> that obadiah has perfectly green healthy uh, however just look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were looking. <laughs> yeah. Um, f um, old Pete the Barbarian um, is yellow. And then oh, Felix oh, oh. and Dominic are orange. As they enter the door to the bottom room, they find it's some kind of bathhouse with half barrels filled almost to the top with a rather dark, viscous liquid. Oh yes, old Pete is first off the block with these, igniting his flame tongue sword and approaching. However, even he was not prepared for what he found. It seems to be one of these doors that has a hole with, and you can see just through it, a piece of rope. And it looks like um, you sort of like stick your hand through, grab the rope, pull it, and that will probably as you pull it it'll lift the latch up and the door will open inwards but you're not too sure but that's what it looks like the door uh, you sort of like give it a gentle push and it's definitely got a lap uh, a latch on it it's not sort of like ready just to f uh, fling open there's no light coming from the opposite side uh I, can old peter attempt to uh 
use physical force to try and break the door down? Uh, yeah, um, by all means. Um, you can make a, a, a strength uh, um, check for me, not a saving throw, a check. Ah, uh, yeah, breaking stuff, maybe. Must the gods so hate the, me. So the door have a, a DC, and then you will... Uh, yeah, so the, the door's um, difficulty challenge is actually five. Um, and you sort of, sort of like take around and sort of like whack it with your shoulder, and the door, uh, you actually hear a snap as the, the wood actually splinters on the latch and the door sort of like um, flies inwards um, quite nicely. And um, I will uh, just show you what you can see inside. One door down. Okay, um, it seems to be um, on either side, the north and the south, um, there seems to be some kind of benches um, and there seems to be some crude um, rope um, attached between two hooks. Um, you notice that one of them um, has a, what appears to be some kind of linen towel just draped over it. And then you see further in, there seems to be four um, tubs. Um, they just seem to be there. Um, they seem to be um, almost like half a barrel, if that makes sense. Um, it, you can see the planks of the wood going round and the um, the wrought iron band. Um, you can see from where you are, especially when you lift up your um, hilt of your sword, which I think has light on um, from Felix. Um, you can see that there seems to be some kind of um, blackened water or blackened liquid in each one of the, the barrels. Um, they, they seem to be very, um, you can't sort of like see down into it. You can just sort of like see as you look across. They, they tend to, they look very still and very sort of like as if there's no movement of it. Um, and you, you just sort of like say, can you just make for me, please, uh, an intelligence check? Darn uh, tootin'. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. And um, you... You figure that um, you've obviously um, bathed in these things before, you know, at the, at the local tavern, and you think they're actually bathtubs of some description. However, there is something quite unusual about them because the, the more you look at the water, the more you think it's something a little bit thicker. Um, it, it looks too smooth um on the top and when you sort of like and um, bash the door down you would have thought there would still be ripples um going over it and you just sort of like think oh that's it's almost like tree sap or something like that it is quite a little bit of a viscosity there like but syrup. yeah but not a huge uh, amount um obadiah and dominic you soon get down to the um bottom of these um chests these foot lockers and just so you know in two out of the five of them um there is um, a small bag uh, a, a, like a pouch um, at the bottom um of, of two of them one of the pouches seems to have um a few copper pieces in um the other one seems to have some kind of pendant slash locket um it's it's not very well made and there is something inscribed um on the back and when you um look at it um you can tell that it, it just seems to be some kind of a, a love heart or maybe yeah it looks quite straight as if somebody's literally gone eh, eh. Uh, uh, like that it doesn't look like it's crafted and it, nice and circular and curved it's just really um straight Obadiah will say i can make sure that this gets back to its rightful owner dominic will um remove one say yes yeah, so so can i fight um, fight fight i'll open it, <laughs> I'll open it and see if there's any pictures inside um, no, you, you sort of like realise that what it actually is, is like two pieces of metal that are actually hinged uh, as if it's been a flat piece of metal and then folded yeah. um, as if it's some kind of book. 
and uh, it's all like got this heart on and then as you open it it just says inside this two letters um forged um so sort of like bashed very crudely into it and it seems to have the letters k and p on it and on the opposite side um it looks like somebody has tried to bash something in by maybe using a the point of a a, a nail oh yes yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and, and try to make sort of like um sort of like a keyhole shape as if it's a person and then try to put some features on it um it probably looks a little bit better a little bit worse than the the ghasts and the ghouls that are in here facially um you don't think it was a, a well-crafted a, a well i'm sure she's a pretty woman. <laughs> yeah 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 it's either a very nice personality yeah, it's either a, a spitting image and she's got a nice personality or it's a really bad workmanship. Um, yeah, old Pete, what would you like to do? Um, hmm. Old Pete's going to mumble to himself and kind of Felix. Uh, maybe, maybe there's some delicious syrup in these tubs. Uh, p p piggy snap butane. He just holds his blade forward to, to kind of illuminate. Um, and kind of ward off anything that might be trying to uh, obliterate me. Yeah. Walk forward. Um, stop me if I'm going too far. I will stop you, don't I? Cool. <laughs> um, I guess the goal is... It could be su 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 soup. Well, either way, we'll be getting uh, something in our bellies if it's tasty. Uh, Felix. And I'm going to... Basically, old Peter wants to touch the tip of his flaming sword in, in the... In the closest uh, one to him, uh, so you want the, very the one on way. Uh, the, the one up on the north, then. Correct. Yeah. Okay, then. So you um, is your um, flame tongue? Uh, did you just did you just ignite it? Did I hear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then. So you sort of like ignite your f um, flame tongue and sword, and you sort of like bring it next to the um, the the barrel of this what appears to be um, almost like thick tar um, of some description and you sort of like reach down and you sort of like touch it um, with the, the flame tongue and the first thing that you notice that as you get really close to it is that it's not actually black it's actually a, a very very um, deep blackened red and as you sort of like move the um the top of it slightly um you disturb it and something that sort of like goes bloop and sort of like appears uh, on the top of the water or the the blood as you know it is now and it just sort of like seems to be a decapitated head that just sort of like materializes from it it's, it's eye sockets are completely um <laughs> empty and its mouth is open uh, almost like a like a scream as if it's issuing forth a scream um you notice that, that a lot of its um skin is very waterlogged and, and bloated and sort of like it looks almost like br bruised um but you realize that it's just bloated and sort of like puffed up and you notice that as it comes to the um term a lot of its skin is sort of like all wrinkled as if it'd been in the bath too long and the mouth is sort of like open and you notice straight away that there's there's no tongue in there at all and it just sort of like surfaces as if it's coming up for breath and screaming for one last time and then it just sort of like flops over to one side and the the dark blue blood sort of like slowly seeps back inside its mouth and as it fills up with water it once again just sort of goes bloop, and disappears um, underneath so the party continued to explore the room in which they found the ghast and the ghouls it appears to be some kind of servants quarters but there's two doors out of the room they find the remnants of a dead servant who looks like he's been half eaten and is quite bloated yeah obadiah gets a rather nasty shock when he tries to grab hold of its ankles and pull it away uh, where's these where's these feet sticking out of um to the um just um in there 
No, oh, right. So, Obadiah um, so uh, Dominic, you would have seen it um, as well. Oh. So, because you've been right the way down to the bottom. Yes. Um, so, Can I tell by the ankles whether they be male or female. Yeah, it, it's definitely a male. And yeah. you, you, both of you sort of like see it. It's face down. Um, it seems to be only have some kind of um, loincloth um, on it. It looks, it doesn't look like it's freshly dead. It looks like it's been dead for some time. And Ob um, Dominic, you're quite familiar with this. And come to think of it, Obadiah, you are as well. And you, it seems to be face down. And you do notice that it seems to have um, some kind of injury um, all over its back and it, and its legs. You can't actually tell what it is. But if you wish to make an investigation roll, which would in involve going closer to the body and flipping it over or touching it with a dagger or something like that but just to let you know maybe maybe if we just if you grab a leg and i grab a leg and we pull them out then we can uh, look at it in the open rather than under a bed yeah so it's it's literally just lying um there it's, is going to, it's in between uh, the two oh, beds the, oh, yeah sorry. Yeah, Albedai yeah. is going to um, sort of like kneel down and um, grab the um, grab one of the ankle just above the ankle in mm. each hand of the. And you just hear him go. I'll do the same. I'll do the same. Oh, he's, he's got oh, no, 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 I won't. He's got no. both of them at the <laughs> moment. He's got both of them, but he's no, just, I won't. I'll he's... just. I'll be like. I'll, I'll look at um, Albedai and just. Um, yeah, so uh, Obadiah, you, you um, grab hold of them. They they seem to be quite cold and lifeless. What would you like yeah, to do? He, he, he's just he's just going to. It, it seems to he seems to just sort of like dwell on that for a bit longer than you think. Sort of like natural. <laughs> and make, just sort of like we'll lean over. And then his his hands just sort of like move up the leg a bit, and then he thinks of it, and it goes back to the. Um, back to the angle um, ankles and he'll sort of like stand up and as he does he'll um, move backwards uh, are you keeping hold of the legs is that the yeah. idea so are you trying to drag it out then yeah he's just yeah but he's, he's or lift being, it yeah well he, he it's 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 going to be both he's dragging it out because he's, he's standing okay, up yeah so the legs are going to come up yeah but, so moving back yeah so. cool so you'll probably um move back um five foot to there um as you pull it out so can you make for me please um a strength check and um, the dc for this is minus so it's only five main strength okay. check check rather than saving throw yeah i'm still gutted at uh Oh, five. Yes, you you get it perfectly. And you sort of like hold on to it. And you sort of like tighten your grip and you sort of like lift and move backwards um, as you go. And um, you both you and um, Obadiah, uh, sorry, Dominic, um, hear and see that the next thing quite um, vividly because there's almost like a um, sound as Obadiah, as you pull them both, the um the legs seem to almost like separate out from the kneecap uh, as if it's all rotten yep. inside and you sort of like go like this and as you pull it away um so it's sort of like lifted up a bit as you lifted it up and then you sort of go like this and they sort of like de detach themselves and they you see the 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 legs and the body sort of like go down and there's this there's this sudden um, stench that wafts out of you and you sort of like just left holding these legs. Um, laughs. Yeah, and... <laughs> <laughs> and you also notice that... <laughs> as, as you pull them out and you sort of like stood there, um, you both see from the thigh section, there seems to be some kind of small... Um, but rather bloated maggots of some description that start to crawl out uh, almost or they try to turn back and try to sort of like go back into the leg because it's, it's as if it's um, 
um, light has sort of like come in. They, you can see them sort of going, ar, 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 trying desperately to, to get under the bed away from the light that you guys are, that Dominic, you have. And you notice a few um, Obadiah sort of like flop out of the the knee uh, uh, of, that you have. Um, yeah. Obadiah, Obadiah is going to sort of like turn around and go, hey, oh, Pete, look <laughs> at this. Well, if you know Obadiah like we know him, yeah, he was quite keen to tip that barrel over. However, unfortunately, he rather fumbled the roll. And what else could possibly happen? Because old Pete has said about the other room, so as he as he as he walks past old Pete, he's going to hold them out for old Pete to take as he as he goes to have a look in the other room. Oh, old, old Peter, of, of course, know. thought that that was quite quite humorous. That little imitation is more than happy to take your comedy props, your your performance tools. Yeah, so you you sort of like sheave your sword and so sort of like pick both of them up and yeah obadiah you you go into the how, how big are these bat things they're about um the you could probably get one person in them um you know sat with their knees up as if yeah. somebody was going to pour water over the top and of you this the the blood as we're calling it how far up to the top does it come uh it's about this far down from the um the lip it's not full um, but it's not near the top. Okay. Obadiah is going to try to um, rock one. Yeah. Um, getting a bit, getting more and more leverage on it until he can push it over. So it's the idea to tip that it way. over. Yeah. Okay then. Um, so the yeah. Arrow. So. Um, okay. So you you need to um, roll for me your not strength not check. Saying. Yeah, the, it, this is really heavy, so it, it's looking for something like. <laughs> so, so you you sort Are of you like point of luck. <laughs> you <don't... laughs> so uh... you sort of like put your you put your hands on the ed edge of this this barrel um the, and in attempt to sort of like push it over and you sort of like you sort of like prepare yourself and um old pete you see obadiah sort of like spindly legs sort of like get ready to take the force of this uh, as he sort of like you, 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 you're not too sure but you think you might have heard a bit of a <laughs> like this and, and, and he sort of like he sort of like pushes himself forward but his grip um on the the side of the ton on uh, the side of the barrel wasn't quite and so on that fumble of a one he goes like that and instead of actually pushing the barrel he you just see his face just go head first uh, into this uh, <laughs> this barrel and it's all like a like that and obadiah you sort of like you get a bit of i mean you were not expecting this and you suddenly find a bit of the people soup the, the, the blood or the thickness a bit of ligament a bit of tendon sort of like a, like that it that might have been an optic nerve that got in there as well mm -hmm. And you quickly sort of like push yourself back up, and then right, yeah, it? and then you you sort of like go <laughs> like that. It's, <laughs> and like it's, only, it's only, I mean, it, the other people don't notice it, but yeah, his tongue does sort of like maybe come out, come out. Of maybe it. maybe it's not as good as Solly and Green. Yeah, and um, could you just make um, a Constitution saving throw for me, please? Saving what? throw. What, what, what are you actually doing? Are you just going and picking all my low attributes? Come on. <laughs> so the party continued round the um, first floor of the manor house and they went back to the room where they found almost like the skeleton secretary making notes and where they saw the apparition of a dark lady um, appearing the week before. They quickly decided that the um, skeleton was no threat and entered a room um, that was ad adjacent to the skeleton room. In here, they observed a rather strange encounter. After that strange encounter, things definitely got stranger. Obadiah's going to come in and he's going to say, I reckon that door in front of us is indestructible. 
You want a bet? <laughs> he knows. Looks indestructible to me. Bet accepted. Old Peter isn't stopped by any door. Um, uh, and I'd, I'd like to go over and try and bash down the door with my strength and my brawn. Yeah, okay then. Um, roll your strength check. Alrighty. And we have power to my confidence. Be here. Yeah, and with an, uh, a, a natural 20, um, you sort of like lay your um, uh, sh shoulder into the door and the door wasn't actually um, snecked or anything like that. You just bash it with all your strength and it literally goes bang like that and sort of like <laughs> flies back um, on, on its um, hinges and you see um, within uh, the following... I'm just going to turn back and smirk as hard as I can. Just it's like, yeah, <laughs> indestructible. <laughs> say what? Okay, so you can see um, down at the, um, down on the south, there's a set of um, double doors. Um, it seems to be a long bench along the northern wall. Um, it's a bit like, um, as if it's like, almost like a waiting area. You know, like um, people would sit on it waiting to go in. Um, the the door um, to yourself, um, you can see that that is um, like a double large oak door. It, it looks very impressive, um, old Peter, as you look at it. And you notice that there's a, a tree carved on it and with leaves and branches and what what you notice is that there seems to be something carved on each of the uh, leaves but you're you're not too sure um what it is um however as you look around the room it it appears empty at first but within a blink of an eye a small pretty young girl no more than five or six years old suddenly appears sitting on the long bench that stretches across the northern wall she almost like seems as if she sat waiting quietly patiently just sort of like sat there and you can see her legs are sort of like you know swinging you know, as if she, they don't actually quite touch the floor. And the the dark, deadly um, person that Obadiah and Dominic um, saw, um, that she's been telling you about, um, appears in the room, um, almost like in front of the child, and smiles at the child, and then offers her um, what appears to be um, a doll, very much like um, the one you saw um, l l with the eyes. At the front door. Uh, yeah. And the girl smiles um, with joy as, as the woman um, evaporates and this all like dissipates. Um, she is totally intangible. She was, and she's just, you could see straight through her. She just sort of like dissipates uh, and goes. And then all of a sudden you notice that the child's smile turns um, to like a screech of anguish and pain and uh, a blood soaked stab wounds um, appear underneath her silky white dress uh, and her she falls forward and she falls limply um, on the floor before disappearing and you notice that the doll that she was holding is left sat on the bench and in one hand you can see that it's grasping a knife and the head of the doll slowly turns to you and the eyes flicker open and they're sort of like a dark and uh, sort of like a blue glare that um, comes from within and you're not too sure but 
Earl Pete, but you think that the corners of her mouth, of the doll's mouth, quite unnaturally twitch into a smile. <laughs> yeah, so I've just shared with the um, group. The groups has um, come open the second door. Well, old P bashed them open. He then saw a young girl um, sat on the bench, about age five and six, swinging her legs. Uh, a dark, ethereal um, woman appeared and handed the girl uh, a doll. The woman then disappeared, and the girl started to smile, but the smile change to anguish and pain and then um, almost like blood stains appeared on her white silken um, dress and then the girl disappeared and the only thing that was left there was um, an evil looking doll about the size of uh, a small child about five or six and you also notice that she in her hand she's carrying a knife or blade of some description and if you remember she turned and those doll-like eyes just flipped you know and there's almost like an audible click and these bright blue eyes um look at you and you're not too sure old pete but you're pretty sure there was um a smile going on Okay, and we will have, please, um, some initiative. Um, you can you can open the con uh, the combat tracker as well now, if you wish. You should be in it. Oh, now I can do initiative. Ooh. That's my initiative. <laughs> well done, old Pete. <laughs> and just waiting for Dominic. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to find my initiative. Uh, Next to AC, it's exactly where we had to tell you where it was last time. Oh, no. <laughs> I've slept several times since then. Oh, AC, yes, yes. Got oh, it. AC. In it. Oh, I, AC. There we go. Look. In it. Oh, oh, I, I, it wasn't worth it, actually. <laughs> I hear that so often. Okay, um, just out of interest, um, Felix, Old Pete and Dominic, you are showing that you've got some um, wounds. Um, Obadiah, it says that you have some temporary hit points. Yeah, because somebody gave me I some cast, temporary hit yeah, points. Oh, yes. Okay, so those no, haven't I'm, been... Um, have they run off yet? Or are they like constant? No, I never, they never They run They off. wear off when they, uh, they are taken they off. Or something yeah. like eight yeah. hours, I think it is. Um, just, to, just to let you know, please remember each round um, is roughly six seconds. If it says in, uh, in the spell description, it lasts for one turn. It's not like the advanced Dungeons and Dragons used to be that you used to have then 10 um, rounds used to make a turn. Yeah. Um, a turn is literally one. It's a bit like Shadowrun, one initiative pass. So when we you have it until it comes back to you again the second time and then the spell or whatever is has gone. Does that make sense to so everyone? So it's just one turn then? Yeah, it's, but it's one t rotation of the round. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay then. Um, so, um, Felix, um, you got a 19. Unfortunately, um, Anna, Annabelle, um, what is what we're going to call her, um, also um, got a 19, but she has a higher... Um, Initiative. And um, you notice, um, old Pete, that she um, uses her first um, um, at her action to sort of like plop um, off the um, chair. Um, she seems a little bit unsteady um, as as she gets off, and then she almost like goes like. Uh, and starts heading towards you, old Pete. And she takes her action to get down off the um, bench. She can't do it in one. And she sort of like comes over. Um, but at the end of her movement, um, she is actually um, stood um, in front of you. Does uh, she look friendly? Uh, no. Um, and then um, Felix, you're up. Felix is going to... Um, um, cast a spell i presume it's called you, you hear him from um behind um old peter and um you hear him say 
porcelain pansy. Peter's gonna put the pop. Uh, yeah, so you're doing. Yes. Yeah. Vicious mockery. Yeah, so he's. Oh. Um, you should be able to click on you and then control click on the um, monster. Um, yeah, because I've done it. Um, yeah, um, I have fail. Um, save 10 versus. Uh, um, she failed. Yeah, so give me some um, damage. Uh, no, no, there's some more because I think it says that I do two. Um, when you reach level five, two D four. So you want another one of those? Yeah. Okay. No, is that spell level or actually your level? It would be your. Uh, yeah. Let the spell damage increases by one D four when you reach fifth level. Yeah. It's not like casting it as a higher level. It's something, yeah, yeah. So you sort of like, um, you sort of like utter um, some nasty words uh, as the the monster, uh, as Annabelle comes towards um, old Pete, and uh, you see, uh, you notice that a, a slight bit of a crack appears on her porcelain face. Um, as the words hit her and her, her eyelids flicker, um, and but she does sort of like. Um, almost like raises the um, um, dagger or the knife as she continues to come and Obadiah uh, you are up mm. Obadiah hasn't got much to do at the moment he's going to unsling his crossbow okay uh, anything else bonus action or anything okay cool okay. Um, old Pete you're up uh, old Pete has two attacks um, and he's going to use both of them um, the bonus action I'd like to do. Um, I, I don't think I had my sword drawn, so it would no, be, you didn't. Yeah, would that be the uh, minor action or move action? That's your that's your move action because you can do readying a weapon as well as a move action. So you can actually in this in D and D run into combat drawing your weapon if you wish, but that would be your move action. So that's fine. You still got your normal action and your bonus action. Bonus action will be for uh, Piggy Snout Butane as I triumphantly hold my Sword of Flames to smite this evil creature. Fantastic. Uh, and then um, I'm going to use attack action to do my two attacks, but the first one is going to be reckless attack. Okay. Uh, which means I get advantage, and then it, your attack against me will get advantage. Cool. Okay, so don't uh, forget to hit the advantage button before you roll it. Oh, I hit it. And now we're going to throw a long sword at you. Take this. Um, yeah, um, 18 hits. Here's the physical damage, and then... And, and leave the other bit. Le leave the oh, other yeah, bit? No, sorry. Um, yeah, d do the other bit. This is, sorry, okay. this is your fire bit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is the fire damage right here. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, okay, then just let me um, check, yeah. check something. A couple pennies worth of damage. Yeah. Um. Oh, and that's just my first attack. I still have one more. <gasps> A less reckless attack. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Okay then. Yeah. You. You. Yeah. Okay. Do. Do your uh, other attack. You are a doll, and you will stay on the floor. Eh. Uh, that misses. Okay. Um. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you um, um, whack your first and you, your sort of like um, blade um, nicely hits um, this um, this creature. And you notice that actually the flames seem to do, seem to sort of like almost like fracture and char the porcelain that the, the Annabelle is made of. And she lets out almost like a hideous um, scream. And she seems to be more, cons more worried about your fire um, rather than the actual, um, the sword strike. And I, that, are you all done and dusted? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay then. And Dominic, you're up. Uh, sacred flame. I will see this abomination. Okay. Just one second. Let me just let me um, assign Annabelle as your target. Yeah, and go for it. I will cast a sacred flame. So you should have the dice now. Yeah, that you can just uh, drag and fall in, push into the two. chat. Yeah. It should be. Um. 
uh, yeah so she does a save um uh, and she fails so she rolled a dexterity save and got a six that's 2d so now do the the damage yeah well when i got my day when i got on the sheet it says 2d8 at level five but i've got 1d8 in my damage do it twice that's one on annabelle and do you want to do another one or yeah do you want to read if my it's description? um i'm quite um hang on does it depend on whether or not it's a good or evil Let's have a look. It won't take me long to have a look. Yeah, about fourth line down. Um, the uh, target must succeed a saving for or take 1d8 damage. The target gains no benefit from co this. The spell damage increases by 1d each when you reach fifth level. Yeah, yeah so you need to do um, another one on her. Another one, yeah. yeah. So on Annabelle again, I'm just literally dropping on her head. Um, yeah, and then she, she took the damage um, there. Yeah, okay then. And any bonus actions? No, I will just uh, survey the area and, um, yeah. Okay then. Um, so um, this comes into round two. So this is when she will have, I think, um, advantage to hit you, old Pete. Is that right? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> does my disadvantage cancel out his the, her advantage? Um, because my, my vicious mockery... Um, yeah, I see what you mean. Hang on, let, let me just... Um, I think it gets it um, off the top of my head. Uh, um, it says, and have disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I have disadvantage, yeah, on the neck before it rolls um, to you. Yeah, so that's a good point. Well done. So I won't have advantage. I'll just roll my normal um, attack. Yeah, happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so um, it's nice. uh, the, the, first, the first thing it does is um, wax you um, with its offhand claw. And so it goes like that and it, you, you feel it sort of like hit you and comes um, straight through your sort of like um, your um, bottom half of your armour and you take 10 points of damage, max damage from there. And then um, the knife comes um, rolling past um, but automatically misses. And yeah, and that's her um, turn um, over. And we go to... Um, Felix. Um, Felix is changing, um, changing tact, and he wants to. Um, he, he's going to try to dispel magic on the thing. So you hear him behind um, old P. He goes, B -b -poof, b -b -b -poof, b -b -b pop, and he um, casts dispel magic. Yeah. Um, can I just can I roll that into there so you can see? Yeah what it does but basically it says choose one creature object or magical effect within range so i'm trying to cast it on her just in case it's animated with magic yeah and then your dc equals 10 the D dc for me is 10 plus the spell level so what level it's a, it's a, a third, level third spell. so it'll be um 13 um yeah so you um sort of like cast the this, this spell on her to try to dispel magic and you you feel that there's some sort of magic here but it doesn't it's more almost like this is more like a an evil monster rather than something that has been magically annotated and you dispel magic um, of course um, disappears and um, do you want to do anything with your bonus action well, offhand attack, cast a spell, use class feature. Um, I don't think so. Okay, cool. Um, Obadiah. Oh, hang on, hang oh. on. Yeah, um, um, as he's done, as he's finished that, he's going to strike up his loot and he's going to start singing a... Um, a, a sort of like a riveting uh, yeah so he's um, people and, casting and, and, inspiration 
Yeah. I'm doing bardic inspiration on um, old Pete. Right. So let's just. Yeah. Are you, do you have to roll something for that? Um, no. Once okay. in the once in the next ten minutes, creature can roll the dice and add the number. So it's a d6, and within the next ten minutes, old Pete. Oh yes. Yeah. Roll that and add it onto any of his abilities. Yeah, that's so right. They yeah. Throws attack rolls or anything like that. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, because um, what's your charisma's modifier just out of interest? Mine? Um, Felix's, yeah. Um, Felix's charisma modifier is plus six. Yeah, so you can only do it six times um, a, a day um, yeah. before you need a long rest. Okay, it's probably yeah, got, think, it's probably got think... some little radial buttons by it. Um, abilities... If not, that's fine. Um, yeah, we can look back at that. Um, Obadiah, you're up. Um, can Obadiah get a shot in with his crossbow? Is there any? I don't know whether or not there's anything about firing into combat. Um, or... Yeah. So what happens is that the um, when you fire into combat in D and D, the the creature gets an extra bonus to his saving to its armor class. Um, so say for example, its armor class was ten. I might say because you're firing into combat or the way it shielded, it can have plus two to its arm class. However, in this instance, because the doll's so small compared to old Pete and Felix, who stood behind there, there's no clear shot. Uh, you, you might get a better shot if you move diagonally northeast. Um, can you see next okay, to, to Dominic? He'll, yeah. He'll move northeast and he'll try to fire. I yeah. mean, if, if there's a chance that he hits somebody else, then that's fine. He'll fire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then off you go. Um, yeah. You you fire your light crossbow and it misses um, altogether. Um, I think it does go. It doesn't hit anybody else. Don't worry. It just sort of like flies over the doll's um, head. Uh, yeah, um, old Peter, you're up. I've got two attacks, and I would like to use them. Uh, um, make sure you. Is your advantage off now? It is off. Yeah. Um, cool, I, I can only do reckless attack as my first attack in a combat. Yeah. I, I just wanted to make sure your advantage was unclicked before you rolled. If you're doing two That's attacks, true. yeah. Yes. All right. She... So here is attack number one. I'm not going into a rage because I only have one rage left. And yeah. can I use inspiration on this roll? Um, yeah. So you can use it at any time. So you can roll the dice first. I think that's what it says in the. Oh, I might get be confused with um, something else or Bane, but I think you can roll the dice and then um, decide. Um, let okay. Me, let me just. Um. um... The creature can wait until after it's rolled. Yeah, it rolled exactly. Rolled. Yeah. Um, so you you don't need to. You can roll, and then if you miss, then you can use your bardic inspiration dice. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, then. I'm going to go ahead and roll my first attack. Yeah, first of two. Um. Yeah, that hits. A little bit of a little bit of that physical damage with the. Whoosing. Um. Yeah, nine points with that. Yeah. Firepower. Um, yep, yeah, six points for that, yep. Yeah. And let's give it another swing. Another swing, guys. Power! Uh, yeah, and that oh hits God. as well. Physical power. Yep. Yeah. And firepower. Right. Uh, wow, just slamming damage down there. Yeah, okay then. So you, you give it a, a good old um, whack. Um, she looks, you sort of like, every time you hit her, it, you notice that the um, flame is le uh, leaving um, burnt marks um, left, right and centre uh, as they're going through uh, and whacking her. Um, she, you can see all the porcelain has started to crack more. Um, but apart from that, she still seems to be up and um, still fighting um, Dominic. Oh, so uh, is it, do you have a bonus action, LP, you want to use? I do not. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, Dominic. He's just talked to himself. He's muted. Don't worry. I'm completely muted. I thought I'd spend more time <laughs> myself talking. Uh, six flow again, if that's okay. You have a screen. Yeah. 
Um, right, so... Um, she actually succeeds. Oh. So she she probably takes no damage or half, whatever oh. the spell description says. I think it's no damage. Oh, cool. Yes. Yeah, so so succeed on a dexterity save, take, or, or, yeah, save throw, or take um, 1d8. Yeah, yeah, to none. Zero. Uh, cool. Nice. Um, so, yeah, so um, that, um, that's the end of um, round two. So we're um, popping up to round um, um, three now, and it's Annabelle's uh, turn. Um, let me just um, come on to that and do... Oh, no, wrong one. Control, maybe. Yeah. I'm just... Oh, dear. <sighs> yeah, that, that I do nicely. Um, ba, 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 ba. Um, 30 foot radius, which I'll get um, all of you um, from from her. Um, right, guys, um, you need to do, please, um, um, saving throws. Um, your, um, your DC is um, 15. Um, so roll your wisdom saving throws, please. And then let me know if you get, if you get 15, you're fine. 15 or above, you're fine. If you get below that, then let me know. I failed. Oh my God. <laughs> With this way, oh. this way. And we're dead. <laughs> 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 Say again, sir. Is it something that can be dodged? No. Okay. Um, so all of a sudden, um, just as Felix has been whacking into this um, girl uh, with the power of um, sound, the the girl sort of like holds up her her dagger, and you just things like she's about to stab you again, um, um, old Pete, and she goes. La 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 fall down and you all feel yourself this this wave of pure fear um sort of like comes over you and each um one of you um becomes um paralyzed um, could you make, please, another wisdom saving throw? Oh, yes, please. Rolf, you lucky woman. Do it. Yes. Um, can I use my inspiration on this one? Oh, you could have used your inspiration on the first one. Could, w would I? Would you accept it at yeah. this point? Yeah. Oh, well, then so, so your first see. one was 12. Um, so roll a 1d6. Um, the saving throw is 15, so go big for money, it. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, big <laughs> money given. <laughs> so, uh, right. Um, so let's, so old Pete, so the thing comes up and goes, la, 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 la. And you just sort of like tightly grip your um, sword, actually sort of like, almost like making your um, hands you know bleed as you grip it that keeps you focused um as she sort of like looks up a bit like the um the cat yeah yeah like that and um right who failed so you're fine old pete who failed the the second who I, failed second, no no i didn't fail the second one no I, I failed everything. Okay, then. Uh, and what about Felix? I, eat, I failed it with everything. <laughs> okay, then. Um, so, at, so, Dominic, you're I just... I first, but made the second. Yeah, so you are um, actually um, paralysed um, still. Yeah. You're, you're just sort of like uh, entranced. Um, 
however, um, Felix and um, Obadiah, you just can't take this anymore. And you actually um, get frightened. Okay, so you now, you now on your next turn will run as fast as you can away from this um, creature. Okay, um, that's me done. Um, you'll be pleased to know. And um, <laughs> Felix, you're up next. So off you go. So your movement is probably 30, so you can actually move um, Nine, twice 10, of that. 15, 20. 25, 30. I can move twice with it. Yeah. That's and walking. Which the exit? Um, you will probably go back down into the ghast room. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can you move diagonally? It's up to you. I don't mind. Uh, You'd be the one almost, you? Yeah, you, you, you're, probably, uh, you're probably heading back down to the ghast room. Can you remember where the ghast room was? Oh, down here? Yeah. Because that would be the furthest away. Oh, I'm move it there. Can yeah. you see that? And the reason I'm saying that is because that's the furthest away. If you went towards this. Do you know whether or not they would remember where the exit was? No, well, what you're doing is trying to get away from her. And right. so when you get down to that T junction, you're unlikely to turn because you'll be heading back to her. You, you have to move away. And then Obadiah, um, off you run. Who's, who's is that? What do you call who's all these um lines on now? Uh I don't know. I don't have any lines on. No, no, it, it'll be the distance between, I've got fifteen foot from the oh, um, right. from Annabelle. Yeah. It's Annabelle, she's she's got a target okay, effect. Okay, that's fine then. I didn't know whether or not it was me. I had clicked something. I thought it. I clicked no, no, I no. thought I'd removed that. No, no I I got fifteen foot from me to Annabelle and I'm assuming that you will have about thirty five foot. I've got 50 because I can oh, 50, move twice yeah. my normal speed. Oh, that's okay. I've got 55 and 60. Okay, and that moves us to um, you, um, old Pete. Bonus action. Only old Pete can save us now. Um, I'm going to go into my Berserker Frenzy. Using no! Berserker! <laughs> 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 This, this, dog, this little doll has upset me so greatly. I'm going to go super rage, which means I get three attacks per turn. Nice. Um, and this is it then, isn't it? Your rage is out. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, see? That's so okay. Yeah, cool. Um, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm getting all my benefits. Um, Can I just say, while um, while you're doing this, uh, Felix is now singing... Brave, 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 brave. So uh, uh, no, Fe Fe Felix is, is just sort of like... He, he turned his head and he, He's just like, run for the sun, little one. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you really think he turned his tail and <laughs> yeah. brave, 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 brave. So what, 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 are, you, um, what are you doing, Sai? Uh, you're doing... I get plus two rage damage on oh, all cool. three of these attacks. Um, so nice. That's basically all I get here. So yeah. attack one of three. The flame tongue destroying a doll. Um, oh, no! uh, that misses. Okay, okay, that's my frenzy attack. Let's do a normal attack. <laughs> no. That misses. Well, you know, you can't you can't hit everything out of the park. Okay. <laughs> if this comes up as a one now, this is broken. Does the game not like me? Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah! Two <laughs> ones. Four ones. <laughs> you can... my plus two and my physical damage that I actually get to hit. And... Yeah, so that's... Uh... Fire. Um, yes, yeah, so that's... Uh, thank you. Uh, let's just do... Um... Oh, I am old oh, Peter. God. I bring you old fire. <laughs> Just wildly hitting like the corners of the door frame. Yeah, you, you're sort of like a. Oh, like this, this sort of like swords going left, right, and center, and there's this sort of like you just seem to be chopping off bits of hair, and, and you know the bit of um, ceramics from her arm go flying everywhere, and you just sort of like grabbing this the pummel so much, you just sort of like. Like like that, left, right, and centre. Uh, yeah, Dominic, you are um, paralysed. 
um, for this um, turn. Um, so you will get save. Everybody will get um, saving throws uh, next uh, next pass. Yeah, um, yeah. So um, you're there, old Peter, and it's like whacking this, and this um, this girl um, slashes out um, with her claw and her knife um, again. Um, do I get um, disadvantage or anything? No, it was only that one. That it was only that. Oh, not not through vicious mockery anymore. No, I do. I get advantage because of rage. Uh, no, that's just my uh, level okay. two reckless attack. Okay, cool you then. Um, so this is the claw um, first, and she Friendly misses, priest. and this is her knife coming at you, which hits. No. And she does um, 11 points of damage as it slices um, through your um, leg. And you're now pretty badly um, wounded. Um, Felix, um, you can make for me, please, a, a wisdom um, saving throw. Um, 14 is a fail, so you will move your 60 feet and cower probably back in the, the once you get there into the into the room and um obadiah um saving throw <laughs> yeah run away run away um yes and yeah um um, old Pete, we're, we're back to you. Back to Pete. All right, doing three attacks again. We're just gonna swing our sword. Do you, do you just do you just stay this rage then for X amount of? Uh, oh, well, that's a good question. Come out of it, doesn't he? Um, think that wants to go into it, they. It lasts for one minute, and I believe if I. If I spend a turn, a couple turns, like not doing anything, then oh, yeah. it ends early. So yeah, so it started in round three. Um, so if it lasts for ten minutes, it, one minute, uh, one minute. minute, it'll last for ten rounds. So it started in round three. So when you get to round thirteen, um, if your rage stays, unless he does not attack or he's or he is not attacked, yeah. So that's fine, yeah. So if you're still around when we get to, um, thanks, Justin, uh, when you get to round 13, then we know you, you've you exhausted yourself. Yeah, go for it. All right. Attack number one of three. Um, Please come up barbarian. one. Please come up with one. Not quite. And that, that, that actually does hit. Uh, adding my uh, rage damage plus two, and this is physical damage. Okay. Nine, nine points. Yeah. Fire damage. Four. Uh, four points. All right. All right. Now this is attack number two. I'm going to not miss. Oh. <laughs> miss. Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, guys, you need to get yourself a new Pretty barbarian. Sure round <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And third attack. It's. T Justin just said, roll on the floor, laughing. Medivac, I thought your cam was froze. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, that, <laughs> yeah that's, that's a hit 16's a hit um, 10 points of damage yeah and you need some flame damage as well uh, 5 little bit of fire um, what was the what was the um, 5 and what was the other one 4 the other fire was yeah 4 Um, yeah, she's she's looking very battered and bruised now. She's all, you think she's actually got um, half of her face as you sort of like slam it down. The, your sword just like slices through of her ceramic face and just sort of like knocks it off. And you you sort of like look down and you're looking through into a completely um, empty skull. You know, there's absolutely nothing there at all and you just sort of like closer and you're the fire sort of like singes a hair uh, as it sort of like slices um through and we come to you dominic um saving throw please wisdom save okay dc 15 <laughs> oh my god that hurts so much. <laughs> <laughs> saving throw and we are talking will is um 
Uh, no, you'll go back to being frozen. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're now into um, round five, and uh, I'm I'm up first. Um, da, da, da. Um, yeah. Okay, then. So here's her attacks on um, you, uh, Mr. Pete. So this is the claw. That yeah. misses. Uh, this is the ha. knife. Missed. Uh, that misses yeah. as well. And she sort of like goes <laughs> like this. And then she just looks up at you, almost like in a, a combat um, move. And she just smiles at you. I and know what you're going to do. With a bonus action, she, she goes, knows. she goes whoosh, <laughs> like that. And she just literally, she literally seems to get absorbed by some nearby shadow or area of darkness and she literally just sort of like um one minute honestly one minute she's there and the next minute um she is gone and so the party entered the final room of the house. They managed to barge through the door, but unknown to them, what lay beyond was some kind of green, viral, vine-like type of energy, which sucked everybody apart from Dominic into the room, and the door slammed um, shut behind them, with Dominic pounding onto the door with his mace to try to break it down. The other three, old Pete, um, Felix and of course Obadiah set to work on tackling the night hag that sat in the chair. And Felix, this is the worst moment to fall to sleep. So, um, Felix, um, Old Pete and Obadiah, you need to make for me please strength saving throws. Um, the DC is at 17. Dominic, you can make it but you can have advantage. <laughs> Got no chance of making any saving throws. What is it? Um, saving throws seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, my strength is well done, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so I, my, my God, he's with. As you um, uh, op open the door, you you sort of like see this and you're all busy doing some other things when all of a sudden you feel this almighty pull um, as if this green thing is sort of like pulling you physically um, into into the room and you you try to resist who who was the only person um, who resisted it Dominic okay then. so yeah and you sort of like feel yourself being pulled um, all of you um, into into the room and you sort of like uh, get sucked in uh, as if it's almost like that bit when there's a fire and you open the door and you go and there's a sudden pull in and as you get pulled in the door behind you slams shut okay so um, Dominic um, you are on the the opposite side um, so Dominic um, Dominic, can you um, either mute the stream or uh, mute my voice to you or take your headphones off one or the other? Okay, so you guys, um, as you hear the door slam shut behind you, there's a great gust of wind that blasts the room around you and it oh. sends the dust and the paper and the car curtains sort of like flying around the room and piles of rotting corpses litter the, the f um, floor um, all over it. And then you see him it, on the ceiling, a shell of a man shriveled tortured and used his bodies and arms um, semi molded into this blackened muck that replicates the ceiling slimy black vines creep through his flesh pinning him out him to the ceiling as the ends of the vines expand and 
into drooling suckers that seemed to be attached to him, almost like sucking his life force out of them. And there's a glow of green hue that animate, um, animate, um, emanates from his chest where you can see green emeralds spewing out uh, evil energies. That are, is what you saw in the corridor, as if it's reaching out and stretching out for new um, living things and perhaps even food um, in the building. Um, the most potent looking of these green energies flow into the lifeless body and it's slumped with his head flung backwards um, on the chair um, opposite you. Can you see the chair? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, you can see that body. You can see from the back. Um, as you look up, you um, suddenly realise that it's the apprentice is attached to the ceiling. Oh, dear. Um, yeah. Um, so, um, what would you like? Um, well, I tell you what we'll do. Um, oops, I've just closed my combat tracker. Um, um, Sorry, to just so the apprentice is on the ceiling. Yeah. With all this stuff sort of like intertwined into his arms etc yeah and what was on the chair um th there seems to be um from the um back of this um from the chair you can see what appears to be um something that has its back to you because it's got the the back of the chair seems to be some for is some kind of long-haired being Right. Um, and how how tall is the ceiling? Sorry, how tall is the ceiling? It's a, the normal height of a a, a, a right. vaulted roof, right. okay. and this almost like looks like um, a um, like the master bedroom. Okay, okay. Um, so, um, can we roll some initiatives, please? Oh yeah, here we go. Is Medivac there? Yeah, he was just been messing about. And the puppy dog. Um. Yeah. So I, I just need. I just need to wait till he. Um... He's. He's nowhere. In, he's. He's at the back playing with his dog. All right then. Okay then. We'll. Um. <laughs> hang on, because I. I can. Um. Roll his. Um initiative should we be beckoning him back in or uh, yeah yeah if you if he looks like he, he's um coming in then um then uh, do beckon him um right um so i think hang on let me just uh, i think old pete um you are going um first um in that case, I would like to go and investigate the chair and uh, the occupant within it. Yeah. Okay, then. So as you um, approach it, there appears to be um, some kind of withered looking woman. Um, you suddenly, uh, it suddenly dawns on you that this is the, the ghostly spirit that you've been seeing. Um, going into the room, etc. But she looks um, almost like half dead. And as you get as you get close to her, um, the body snaps its head back from over the chair and looks into your position. And you recognise her from this apparition of the manor. Um, it's the dark advisor um, Gertrude. Um, she grins wide and evil then cackles a haunting laugh as her features grow long and haggard her skin turns midnight blue and her per her pupils turn red as red as the nine layers of hell and with that she attacks and we go to Gertrude um, so um, let me just um, sort this out. If you, 
if you see um he can come back when he when he's ready um, well, you, you put her. um let me just do this i just need to make sure uh da, 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 da. okay um so um first things um first um I need you um, all um, in the room um, to make for me, sorry, I just need to, um, oh, da, da, da. starting with the creatures, the other creatures, the false. Okay then, um, who's who's got um, the lowest um, hit points? Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll just see the kids are doing because, like, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, who's who's um, Obadiah, <laughs> Felix, and um, old old um, Pete? Who has um, the lowest um, hit points? Um. Felix. Felix. Felix has 21. Okay, then. So, probably Felix. Okay, hang on. Oh. Uh, right. Okay, then. Um, Felix has 21. Um, so, that's... Um, 19. Oh. Okay. Um, so... 21 Felix has, yeah? Yes. Okay, does anybody else in the room have 15? 15? Yeah, Max. Exactly 15? Yes. If you've got more than that, you're all right. If you've exactly got 15 hit points. No. 32. Okay, then. Um, she sort of like turns around and sort of like goes... She seems to pick up something in her hand and she holds it out and sand um, dribbles um, from it as she turns around and just smiles at you. And um, Obadiah, you oh. see Felix just go and this crashes um, to the floor. If you didn't know better, He's dead. you think he has just um, fallen um unconscious okay um so we are now um felix is unconscious felix will fall unconscious yeah um obadai you're up obadai is not going to take any chances he's going to um run away crossbow <laughs> and um and fire at this thing okay yeah um go for it Oh, hang on, let me just target her for you because you can't target or you don't know how to. Yeah, go for it. 15 foot away. Yeah, cool. Um, critical hit. Yeah, do some damage. What do I do? I get anything exciting? Um, yeah, it should. Um, a critical hit. What does a critical hit do? Double damage. Yeah. Double dice. Um... Yeah, so yeah, so you you roll a critical, so you roll a two and a five, um, so that's seven plus three, ten, and you sort of like fire it out at her, and you're sure that you had it aimed directly at her head, um, but then all of a sudden, just as it flies back, she just sort of like seems to move it slightly, and it just grazes um, her shoulder, um, even on a natural twenty, even on a natural twenty. Uh, yeah, and um, Dominic, you're up. I have no idea what. I've been going you can on. hear um, from with inside. You can hear oh. this cackling um, laughter, and you can you notice that as they got pulled into the room, oh. almost like green tendrils came out and grabbed a hold of the door and pulled it. Pulled it uh, the door's yeah. closed at the moment. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing Dominic will do is he will turn around and he will move the doors and he will try to pull them open. Yeah. And not leave another group. He, 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 he 
can't get through this again. This is this is too bad. So he will, um, yeah, throw the doors back open. Yeah, you sort he of saw like the doors pushed, didn't he? He saw the uh, doors. The... Yeah. Yeah. So they close into me. Sorry, so I'll, I'll throw them open. Yeah. So you sort of like um, do do your strength check for me, please. I will indeed. Yeah, you sort of like put your whole weight behind these doors to try to burst inwards. And as you hit it, they sort of like give a little way and then um, close uh, again. Um, and we're coming to round two and it's you, uh, um, Pete. Um, I would like to use my two attacks and the first one is going to be reckless. Okay, Which cool. means you'll get advantage and I get advantage. So click an advantage. Yep. And I'd like to use my bonus action to, to shout uh, my, my catchphrase at this point. Piggy's not butane. Okay, just one second. Let me get her targeted for you. There you go. All right. And so it should have advantage and reckless strike. Um, yeah, the 17 hits. Drop this nice. eight. Yeah. And here's my physical damage. And fire damage. Yeah, and you sort of like um, flash her. You you sort of like seem to cut across her, but it, it almost like it's almost as if she's almost like undead. And even just like your arrow, Obadiah, um, your sword doesn't seem to be hitting it as as well. It seems to be slicing through her skin, but there doesn't seem to be that much blood coming out. You almost like feel that she's um, almost like too undead. She, there's not a lot of life left in her to take damage like this. Yeah, um, next attack. Next attack, no advantage. Uh, um, that's a miss. Yeah, okay then. Um, any bonus action? Uh, use that to activate my sword. Okay, cool. Okay then, so this is um, her um, turn now. And she will, um, just let me see what this does. Ba, ba, ba. Um, yeah, so she she sort of like um, um, looks um, up at um, you all and she sort of like um, points at um, you, Obadiah, and you, um, old Pete. She sort of like goes like that with her hands. And as she turns them, th these um, bolts of what appear to be um, green um tendrils come shooting out at, at both of you and it, they come sort of like flying towards you uh, i just need to make sure that she gets the right uh, amount mm -hmm. uh, yeah um so one's coming um for you um old pete and then the other one is coming for um you um obadiah okay and here they come and chung. Oh, it's, it's uh, it says it's ob absorbed by obadiah how are you <laughs> I've got temporary hit points. Oh yes, yeah. So the these uh yeah, good point. Yeah. So these um these bolts of, of what appears to be like um flaming um green tendrils um come shooting out and whack into you. You take two points of damage and Obadite comes off your um your temporary hit points. Um Felix is um unconscious and Obadiah you're up. I'm gonna fire again. Okay. There's, there's, are, there, are there any windows in this? Um, yes, there's f flapping curtains and everything. Boarded up? Yeah, or... they're boarded up. It just, yeah. And there's nothing else in the in the room? Apart from the apprentice stuck to the ceiling. Right, okay. 
and the the green thing in the middle mm -hmm. does it look like it's linked to him up at the ceiling as well it's got him pinned up there it seems to be sapping his life force from him and then the tendrils seem to come down to this um this beast as well this woman right but there's no sort of like heart in the middle of it or anything like that that i can just no that there's one shot. no there's nothing that sort of like says fire here <laughs> Right, here we go then. I'm going to fire at her. Okay, cool. Uh, with a... Uh, with a one, you automatically miss it. goes flying um, past her. Um, yes, um, Dominic, you're up. Dominic is um, amazed this door withstood his um, godlike thrust of power. <laughs> so he will now hit it with his mace to try and make a portal to enter into the room yeah um, make a, a to hit roll that's the right one um, yeah um, you managed to hit the door okay do some damage for it it's going to be 1d6 plus 2 let's see if it works uh, how much is that? Six. Uh, six, yeah. Yeah, you sort of like whack um, uh, with your mace onto the door. And you notice that it does a little dint uh, in the crack. Um, it's certainly doing something to, to try to get in there, but it seems to be um, complete. It doesn't, you don't bash through. It, this probably seems to be the best way to get through, however. Um, and then we are at um, you, old Pete. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to swing twice, and uh, that means, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to do uh, twice. Yeah. Okay, first attack. The power of the gods I don't have. Uh, yeah, that hit. Uh, physical damage, and yep. oh, fire damage. Oh, nice. Yeah. Burn. Cool. Um, round two. If you're ready for me. Yeah, um, does, I, yeah, um, go for it. I just need to check something, yeah. Okay. While well, she's checking for something, I'm going to hit her across the neck with... No, no. No, <laughs> with a miss. Um, <laughs> hit her with a miss. Um, so you're, it, it's all right. It, it hasn't taken off your fire damage. Um, so I'm just checking up. So the first fire damage was five, wasn't it? Uh, no, I think it was 56, the first one. Fire damage was <laughs> five, and then that one so, was so sure. was 11, um, so that's um, 16. Yeah, scratch some hit points off. Yeah, yeah so yeah, it could take a little bit more off. That's a man. Yeah. Um, it, is it, are, are you done? Um, uh, yes, that's all I have. Okay, then. And um, it's my um, turn now. So she sort of like um, turns around to you. And um, what sh the first thing that she does is that she just um, strikes um, you across your face. Um, and as her hand comes towards you, you suddenly notice that there's sort of like hideous claws um, nails that are burned, um, extended almost like uh, as if they're like talons, and she just sort of like sh um, strikes it um, across your um, face, and she hits with you with a twenty-one. Oh! And you take um, eight points of damage. Ow! Oh. Looks like that went on automatically. Cool. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so um, we're now down to Felix, who's Felix on. Felix to lie on the floor unconscious. And Obadiah, we're up to you. <laughs> Obadiah's going to fire again. You you do you do realise that if... You, you do have sneak attack, don't you? Yeah, but it can, it can see me, can't it? Or is it not like the old... No, TV? it's... Step into shadows. Yeah, no, what I'm saying is that if you're in five foot of somebody fighting, doesn't your sneak attack allow you to do more damage or you get advantage or something like that? Yeah, sneak on the back. Uh, I'm only saying this because I know that you're not used to playing a, a rogue. I'm sure it has... Um, uh, opportunity attack. Um... 
Begin our first level, you know how to strike subtly and exploit your foe's distraction. Once per turn, you can deal an extra 1d6 damage to one creature you hit with an attack if you have advantage on the attack roll. The attack must be um, use a finesse or a ranged weapon. You don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy of the target is within five feet of it. Yeah, um, so you would do extra damage. You also get um, cunnier cunning action don't you that allows you to either dash disengage or hide as a bonus action you got that at um second level i think uncanny dodge is that a, what what does uncanny dodge say oh yeah uncanny dodge starting at fifth level when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack you can use your reaction to halve the uh, attacker's damage against you. So yeah, I, was gonna, I was going to use that when you did the thing, but I didn't take any damage, so I didn't bother. Oh, cool. Okay, so yeah, fi fire away. Don't you also get that um, language skill as well at your level? Because um, yeah, he he can, he can communicate with. Uh, uh, that that's a that's a hit. Yeah, do some damage. Nice. <laughs> yeah okay then yeah you you fire your um arrow your quarrel and it sort of like hits into the um creature but it doesn't seem to be taking a huge amount of um damage um from it um at all okay then um uh, dominic you're up dominic will bash this door again one more time yeah so you will hit the door no matter what um so do your damage but the damage. reason the reason you are um doing um the attack roll um is to see whether or not you get a crit yeah yeah okay then um that's dominic so, four points four points yeah um old pete you're up you know my jam i'm gonna swing away until this thing drops because that's all i'm good for old yeah. peter old reliable is more like it um yeah that hits <laughs> yes here's my physical um, and here is my fire yeah uh, fire five yeah, cool. And now my second attack, because I'm a wild barbarian boy, swinging wildly. Eh, and yeah, misses. No yeah. Okay, are you done? That's all I got. Okay, then. The no uh, more rage. Um, no. Right, yeah. So um, she um, whacks you again with her um, claws after seeing drawing blood. And she actually misses you as, as she sort of like... Um, goes and she sort of like lets out a a, a dreadful sort of like ah! like that as, as you sort of like um go past her and she sort of like um seems to be um almost like um being more 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 annoyed now you almost like seem to be maddening her um felix is unconscious obadiah you're up i saw fire once again Um, yes, that's a hit. Whoa. Um, nice. Yeah, damage. Very nice damage. 11 points of damage. And then Dominic, um, you roll and as you try to bash through this door. So do you want to do a hit, to hit or... Yeah, do a... You, yeah, you yeah, will hit. The crit. Yeah, it's just yeah. to see whether or not you get a hit. If you get a crit, then you do double... Um, you would roll your damage twice. And four again. Yeah, so Obadiah, you can um, hear um, um, Dominic sort of like whacking against this thing. And you can see that the door seems to be um, held shut almost by like, this green um, green vines on the opposite side. Um, yeah, back to you, old Pete. Old oh, Peter's swinging away. Swinging away because eventually this, this creature will die. Attack number one. Nice. Um, yeah, that hits physical not too bad and fire is a 10 oh. okay yeah cool and second attack going for the upswing i'm actually going to hit this time except i lied you missed mm. uh that was um 10 wasn't it yeah cool um the fact that is you're, you are on fire um, yeah, and so so you sort of like strike again, and this um, this time this quarrel sort of like comes into you, and the the um, Gertrude sort of like looks at you, um, um, 
Obadiah and she just sort of like reaches out her hands again as if to push you away and from her fingers shoot um, two of these um, these uh, missiles um, that um, come towards you um, hang on I'll target you because then um, uh, you can actually I'll actually do the damage to you directly there you go uh, so two of these uh, missiles come um, first one take you take two points of damage and uh, the second one you take two points of damage as well as as they whack um, into you so the first one did two but was partially absorbed was that right yeah that's right yeah and then the next one did two again two again right yeah but it's already done it hasn't it it's yeah taken. it's already taken it off yeah. yeah um um felix is still um down um obadiah you up obadiah is going to fire the last of his bolts and that yeah and it misses um, as it goes flying over to one side. Um, Dominic, um, roll your to hit roll, please. I will do so. And then, oh. Oh, yeah, sorry. Go, 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 go. And then I want to use my... Um, Bonus action? My, yeah. Class feature, isn't it? So I want to use my um, cunning action to try to, um, to try to get into some shadows. Okay, cool then. Uh, that do you have a hide skill then? Um, nothing's coming up. Um, it's stealth in the system. History stealth. I have. Yeah, hang on a minute, because what I'm looking for is um, because it says you can take a hide action. That's what it says, doesn't it? Is that what? It, I'm sure it says hide action. Uh, ba, 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 ba. It does, but I, did, I don't have a hide. Mm -hmm. And when I click on the thing next to stealth, it um, it comes up about unable to open window using wildcard link because no module containing that link is open. Check your active library. Let's have a look. Oh, how exciting. We're coming across something that we don't know. Everybody watching the stream is probably thinking, you do that, you do that. Hide action. Push it, push me. See under action. Is that a slip into shadows? Um, action. Hide action, 192. Maybe we come to use is not loaded. D and D players handbook deluxe is required. I'm nearly there. D has a look. Players guide. Um uh, right, hide. Um, you can lend your aid to another creature in the completion of a task when you take their no, sorry, that's help. When you take the hide action, you make a dexterity stealth check in an attempt to hide, following the rules in Chapter 7 for hiding. If you succeed, you gain certain benefits, as described as unseen attackers later on in this chapter. So you need to roll a, a strength. A stealth. A stealth, yes, sorry. My fault. Thanks. Um, yeah, okay then. Let me leave that out there as you hide. And we, Dominic, did you do your? No, I was I was writing and then my thingy. thingy. Um, uh, combatants okay. often try. Um, yeah, you you can roll your um, damage. Uh, six. Um, when attacker can't see you, you have advantage on the attack rolls against it. If you are hidden, both unseen and unheard, you can make an attack. You give away your location when the attack hits or misses. Yeah, so now that you are um, hidden, then you can actually... She doesn't know you're there, so you're almost like stealth now. Um, how much, sorry? Uh, six. Six. Yeah, you, you think you're probably halfway through bashing this door to bits um, now. Um, old Pete, you're up. 
All right, guys, you, you know what I'm doing. Oh, kitty cat, please. All right, um, throwing the dice for first attack. It's a miss. It's a miss with a 12. Second attack. Um, is a critical hit. Um, so. cat. Okay, my cat's just getting all excited. Here is my physical for that. And 13. Here it is. My fire, five. Uh, okay. Swinging away. Yeah, this. Um, she looks um, over half um, health now. Yay. Yeah. She doesn't look. She doesn't we look good uh, at all. Only old Pete can save us now. <laughs> A little help from my friends. Okay, she um, turns um, round to you on her action. And in, she sees that Obadiah has gone somewhere. So she turns around to you and she, she opens her hand almost like over your heart and just sort of like smiles at you, um, old Pete. And these green tendrils sort of like shoot out of her, um, out of her hand and just sort of like almost like, like suckers um, come onto you and sort of like um, um, stick to you. Hang on. I just need to target you and then she'll roll her. Yeah, and they, they go bah, 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 and sort of like um, stick onto you. And um, da, 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 da. Uh oh, I'm going to be weak, Peter, now. You certainly are going to be weak, um, Peter. She has um, quite nicely um, um, done um, ray of enfeeblement um, on you. So I'm, I don't think, I can't find a, a condition for it, but I know roughly uh, what, what's going to happen. So, so just to let you know that your, um, the target only deals half damage with weapon attacks that use strength until the um, spell ends okay so she's got it up for one minute so round 16 it, uh, it'll go off um, at the end of each of the target's turn you can make a successful constitution saving throw against the spell on a success it ends okay so we are literally um, halving your um, um, damage that seems like a very interesting spell to use on the rogue. Uh, no, the rogue's disappeared, Ataman. It's going on the um, the beefy, bulging muscles uh, of the thing involved. Uh, I do have to make a, a, a check because I'm concentrating it. And um, Felix, Felix is, on, is going to remain unconscious. Um, Obadiah. How far can I move We're on with sneaking? You can move your um, uh, movement. So he's going to come over, come over the table. Um, yeah, uh, that's cool. Um, attacker. Uh, attacker, yeah. Oh, so I'll, I'll attack from this side here. Okay, then. so um, therefore you have advantage, don't you? Um, and you also got sneak attack, so you will do more damage. So yeah, so don't forget to hit the advantage button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Am I targeted? Um, you targeted her, yeah. Um, critical okay. hit. Um, it says it might go up on the rogue table. My sneak damage. Um, right, okay then. It's 1d6 at first level. Um, classes. Um, hang on. Rogue. It'd be 3d6 right now, right? 3d6, cool. Yeah. If that's what it says, yeah. Um, what are you, fifth level? Yeah. Yeah, 3d6. So this is my damage for my dagger. Okay, so six points of damage from that. Is it, um, if it's 3d6, is it, um, is it now... No, um, it's it's um it's three d six. It's not one d six plus. It's not cumulative. It's just three d sixes. 
so a maximum of 18. Oh, why didn't it roll on her? Did it roll on her then? It hasn't rolled anything. And then, then. I'm just going to have to roll it in there. No, that's fine. Um, nine points of damage. Um, and that'll take that to. Um, Um, yeah, okay, then nice attack. Um, you're now um, visible, of course. Um, Dominic. Hitting um, it. Same as before, I will um, play fun with the door. Damage. A six. Um, six points damage. Cool, thank you. You're getting through this door slowly but surely. Sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and oh, yes, yeah. um, old Pete, we're up to you. All right. Right, I'm, uh, I'm just going to take her off um, because you need to do um, half damage and then half damage again. Okay, okay. Okay, so um, hit her first. Yeah, uh, as weak, Peter. Yeah. Uh, um, weak. So um, 16 uh, um, hit points. Um, armor class is 17, so that misses. All right. Um, uh, okay, good. That didn't roll. All right, second swing. Swingaroo. Um, 9 to 25 will hit. Um, All right. So roll your, roll your damage first. Physical. Here's physical. And here is magical fire. Okay, then. So your magical fire will stay the same with 7. Um, your four will be resisted down to two and then halved again down to one. Um, so it'll be eight. Um, so it'll be that. Contributing. Yeah. You contribute. You certainly are. Okay, then. Um, da, da, da. Oh, now, um, you hit her, so I need to make a, a saving throw. Don't I? Uh, um. It's a wisdom saving throw, I think, to... Um, to break concentration. concentration yeah. Oh yes, that is yes. Yeah, if she's holding the spell, then uh, yeah, concentration check. Uh, I she think needs my attack as well. Oh um, yeah, that is true. Um, so let the yeah, good point. Um, let me just um, constitution saving throw. Um, the DC equals ten or half the damage you take, whichever number was higher. So right, let's. Um, so what was your um, damage? Um, I did um, fifteen in total. Um, fifteen. So this would be her wisdom saving throw against that fifteen. So oh, she... hang on. Uh, um, no, I did three. Is the sneak damage partially resisted as no. well? No. Right. So no. So I did twelve. Twelve. So this is a saving throw. Um, right. So she fails that, um, which means that she takes the damage, but the concentration spell is gone. So um, old Pete, when you actually hit her, um, instead of doing um, eight points of damage, Full damage you'll do um, 11. Nine. Um, yeah, nine I mean, points. Nine. Yeah. 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 Um, so, so all extra one. So yeah. So um, it just be that. Yeah. Okay then. Um, cool. Yeah. Uh, nice one. Thank you for for that. Okay then. Um, the her next um, action. Come on, Gertrude. Just swing at me. Just, just slap me in the face. Um, he, I think she actually. Um, she will actually because she can't do that because she doesn't have a stone um yeah so this um uh, she will uh, attack you and she certainly does hit ouch and um 15 ouch. points of damage and we're uh, felix is out of it um obadiah you're up so I, this time I can, now that she knows I'm there, I can just make a normal attack. Yes, you can. Is that correct? Yeah. But you'll still get your sneak damage because you're in five foot of somebody fighting. Okay. Uh, 
um, another critical hit from the rogue. Two critical nice. hits in the thing. So do your physical damage first. Um, yep. Yeah. So she takes that and then do your um, 3d6 um, sneak. Attack. It's like a justice from the, uh, the, the three wands you get in a row. Yeah. Um, that's um, a seven. So that goes up to that. Or oh, she doesn't look well, people, uh, at all. Um, Dominic. Yep. Rinse and repeat. This is a crit. No, let's do some damage. Damage is oh three. <laughs> yeah, and you. I, 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 I'm so tired. I'm like, oh god. You you whack this um thing with your um your mace, and as it you you notice that you actually whack straight through the door, and the door splinters <gasps> and falls over. And um, Obadiah, you see. Um, the tendrils sort of like that were holding the door so like suck back um, into uh, into Gertrude um, you you still have your you Dominic. St Dominic you still have your movement and your bonus action okay go through the door right, okay in which case I will go across to here and my bonus action will be oh can I Right, with me. No, that'll do. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, yeah. see. Um, old Pete, you're up. <laughs> All right, let's let's smack this lady down. I I thought you do something else. Sorry. Um, twenty three hits. Oh, I thought uh, Dominic had something. All right, um, physical. Physical damage. Yeah. And fire damage. Uh, uh, six. Uh, so that will now be that. Yeah. And one more. Yeah, one more. Let's see if we can hit uh, with our second attack. Um, um, 17 um, hits. That's her armor class, exactly. Oh, very barely. I finally got a double. All right. And here's physical. And here is my magical. Okay, hang on, because I need to do, because it didn't take off your first damage. It took off the six, but not the eight. Um, so that's, um, that's is that um, 20? I need to take off it, don't I? Another 20. Um, yeah, because old Peter's targeting old Peter at the moment. Yeah, so oh, no. I, t I took off the first, <laughs> I took off the six. I took off the six fire damage. So um, what it was... It would be, it was, par was it partially resisted? So it would be four. Uh, f four plus four for the because i didn't do the first physical so that's yeah, four so it's, four it's eight for the first one and four and eight for the second one yeah 16 uh, total uh yeah so i need to add 16 onto that don't i um so that i take that and, oh, so close. and that i take it to that Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, what did I have to add on? Six. No, it takes it to that. Okay, yeah. Okay, then. Um, yeah, um, it's um, her turn um, as she turns round in a rage and she activates reckless fury um, and reckless attacks and swipes at you. But luckily for you, uh, misses. Uh, Felix is asleep. Uh, Obadiah, you're up. So I got another attack with yep. my dagger. Uh, but you miss with a one. This is now, I get two ones now. Um, Dominic, you're up. <laughs> I will be. Are you just going to do Sacred Flame? <laughs> I use Sacred Flame. You hit it on the head. Uh, hang on, don't do anything until I've, I've got you. Uh, there you go. You can go now. Okay. Take a flame. So that's my. Um, oh. She success. She successfully uh, makes the save. Save eighteen. Cool. Yep. 
Um, yeah, so uh, we're back up to the stop as you've spring bowed down the power of your divine god onto her, but she's. Like she just sees it at the last moment she puts up her hand and the green tendrils just sort of like shoot up and ma meets it in mid-air and just goes <laughs> like that and she just sort of like laughs as she sort of like goes ha! like that and she just sort of like absorbs it um, but while she's doing that old Pete it's your turn hoping to chop off that arm oh, hoping yes. to chop that arm off um, Good, you man. certainly do hit her and I'm going to roll my physical and my fire physical. And you slice into her and you just look like you come down onto the arm and she's obviously so concentrating on resisting the sacred oh, flame that you oh, just no. you just um, slice into her and she just all of a sudden gasps out as your fire and your sword goes straight into her and she just like looks at you and she sort of like says Oh! And then she, she just literally goes, <laughs> and this this green energy just sort of like bursts out of her um, all over the place. And Obadiah and um, um, Dominic, you suddenly see the guy, the the magician's apprentice at the top of the roof, um, just plummet um, down to the side. Does anybody? Yeah, so the party escaped with the Sorcerer's Apprentice out of a window using rope provided by Obadiah and safely got back to the village, only looking back one more time as the whole manor house was sucked downward and imploded on itself um, and with a puff, a mushroom cloud of green um, smoke emanating from where it once was. So I hope you've enjoyed these this synopsis these highlights from the gaming session please do remember that if you would like to see the whole um, session um, warts and all it is down below in the comments and before you go please remember that i would love you to actually like comment or subscribe on this video until next time i'd like to say to each and every one of you please remember to be who you are and say what you think because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. Until then, have fun. And I'd just like to say, happy role playing. See ya. Bye. Until then, happy role playing. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thanks.